In the office, she's popularly known as Hikma. When she's with her best friend, she's called Bambina. She also takes IELTS classes during the weekends. Over there, she is formally addressed as Miss Yemi. In a very similar fashion, a computer can be assigned different names such as Mike's PC or Main Office PC or PCA, which is used to identify the PC in different scenarios. But, when a computer is connected to a network where Ethernet is used as the link protocol, it is recognized by its MAC address. No two devices on the same network should have the same MAC address in order to avoid a conflict. Today, we'll talk about how MAC addresses are assigned to devices to guarantee its uniqueness and how they affect the forwarding of data on a computer network. Hello guys, welcome to my presentation on MAC addresses. This piece of hardware is called a network adapter or network interface card because on it lies the interface to which you connect network cables. When these adapters are manufactured, a 48-bit value called a MAC address is embedded or burned into them before the hardware is mounted on the circuit board of the device. Any interface connected to any link is recognized by the physical address on that link. On Ethernet links, devices identify each other by using MAC addresses or physical addresses. On a bus network, a frame sent by one computer is received by every other computer on the shared link. After the frame is received, the destination MAC address is verified. All devices discard the frame except the device with the destination MAC address. Every MAC address is 48 bits long and consists of two parts. The first part is used to identify the organization that manufactured this hardware. This value is called the organizationally unique identifier. The second part, which identifies the specific hardware itself, is called the vendor code, vendor assigned value, or serial number. With this structure, it's impossible for two different manufacturers to have devices with the same MAC address. A MAC address used on an interface card is only meant for the device on which the hardware is mounted. However, some special MAC addresses can be generated for special uses. For example, the sending of data to multiple end stations at one time or to all end stations on the link. But how? It's easy for you to read this as $5,000 or this as physical logic. But computers don't understand things this way. They have to break data into its smallest form, called bits. This means they recognize data consisting of only ones and zeros. Each digit in the MAC address is 4 bits. This makes up 48 bits in total. Two digits here is called a byte. Alternatively, we can say that a MAC address consists of six bytes. If we break down the first byte, we'll have eight bits. Of all these bits, only the last bit here affects how data is forwarded. If the bit at position eight is a zero, Data sent to this destination MAC address will be received and processed by only one device. These types of MAC addresses are called unicast MAC addresses and are used on network adapters. But if the bit is a 1, data sent to this destination MAC address is received and processed by multiple devices, hence they are called multicast MAC addresses. To send a frame to all devices on a link, we use the broadcast MAC address of all Fs, which in binary is all 1s. Check out the questions on the next slide. Watch out for the Ethernet switch, same time next week, 
to understand the basic operations of a switch as a data link layer device. If you learned something from this video, please leave a comment, share, and subscribe to this channel so others can benefit too. Thank you for watching.